What's going on guys? Coach Andrew here. Welcome back to my home gym. It's been a while since I did an equipment review, but I'm filming a bunch of them tonight because you guys really liked them and they're actually still some of my most popular videos. So we're going to review some equipment today. Today we're going to be reviewing the Xmark Fitness Voodoo Bar. Come on now, focus for me. Look at that. Yeah, 28 millimeter, 20 kilogram Voodoo Bar from Xmark Fitness. I have had this barbell for over two years. We're going on three years, and I'm going to tell you all about it. But first, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, because I am a certified strength and conditioning specialist. I am also a high performance life and business coach. Basically, I'm obsessed with self-development. It's how I make my living. It is the impact that I want to have on the world. And this channel is one way that I have really started focusing on this year to provide value to you guys. So if you are at all interested in things like self-development, mindset, entrepreneurship, relationships, all of those great things, you'll like what I put on the channel. I just started a new podcast. I have a series called Ask Coach Andrew where viewers submit questions and I give you guys answers. If you're into any of that kind of stuff, go check it out. Really appreciate the support. But most of you are probably like, I just literally want to hear about this barbell, dude. Shut up. Tell me about the bar. So let's talk about the barbell. Like I said, I've had this bar for just over two years. I got it on Amazon. I think it was about $180 when I ordered it. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's ballpark. I was going to get the Lumberjack bar. I think the Lumberjack bar was cheaper, but it was out of stock. So I paid like the extra 20 or 30 bucks. I went with the Voodoo bar. And um, I'll be completely honest with you guys up front. Short and sweet answer is it's great. I love this bar. For what I paid, um, it's been great value. The ends of the bar hold up wonderfully. The ball bearings are wonderful. They spin, they're perfect. There's never been any grinding, never been any slipping or issues. Um, the knurling, the knurling is all right. It's um, it's it's definitely worn down over the years. That is to be expected with any bar, but the knurling was more than sufficient to keep me happy. Uh, the most I've ever lifted on this bar was 425 pounds on a deadlift. It holds up just fine, but the only issue that I have had with this bar, if I can get this camera to focus is the knurling rusts. So, quick disclaimer. This house was built in 1836. It is old, it is cold, it is kind of damp down here. I run a dehumidifier pretty much all year long, and I have a little thing on the wall that tells me what the humidity is. But there are a lot of times, like right after a rainstorm, um, in the middle of winter, sometimes in the fall or the spring, where it gets humid down here and I can't do enough to keep this bar from rusting. Out of all of my equipment in the gym, everything, the dumbbells, the uh, lat pole, the power rack, all of the other bars, the benches, everything I have, the only two things that rust are the bolts on my dumbbell rack, these will get rusty, and this barbell. Right here, the knurling. Those are the only two things that get rusty. So I don't know how barbells are made. Um, my guess is that they put the coating on and then they press the knurling in. And when they press the knurling, maybe some of the coating comes off or maybe it just doesn't quite get into the knurling. But the knurling is the only part that gets rusty. There may have been one spot, yeah, right here. You can see right here. There's just a few little tiny splotches and flakes um, that are not on the knurling where it started to rust. And so that was disappointing. Naturally, you shouldn't be storing equipment in a damp basement like this. You should get a better, a better gym where it's not humid. That would solve the problem. I'm not blaming this on the company. And all I had to do was to fix it was take some mineral oil. Um, I wipe it when it gets rusty and then I just put some gun oil on it. And yeah, your hands get kind of gross, but... You learn to live with it, and it's not like anything else down here is super pretty. So yeah, just some rust issues with the knurling. Um, if you don't have a humid gym, problem solved. But look, I, I really don't know what else to say in a barbell review. I have had this bar for two and a half years. I've been lifting with it uh, four to five times a week for two and a half years. I have workout partners. I've had clients. I have all kinds of people come in. So this bar probably gets used um, anywhere from 20 to 40 times a week for two and a half years. 
It's held up great. I've taken good care of it. Um, you know, I don't intentionally beat my equipment up. Like I said, I wipe it down with oil. I use mineral oil to get rid of the rust. I do everything I can to take good care of it. Um, so if, if you buy this bar and you, you do what you can to be nice to it, it should hold up just as well for you. And I highly, highly recommend it as a first barbell or just, you know, a nice intermediate barbell for someone who needs something for basic weightlifting or powerlifting. You know, you might not want to do competition prep with this thing. That's totally up to you. But for someone like me who just lifts for the joy of lifting and wants to be healthy and isn't necessarily an athlete or a competitive power lifter, this bar has held up great. It's been fantastic. You can see right down here, this was my first barbell. I use it as a counterweight to hold the power rack down. I don't even know what brand it is. It wasn't, it wasn't even branded. It was probably from Dick's Sporting Goods or something. I bought it on Craigslist for 20 bucks. The crazy thing about this whole bar is the electrical tape is there because the knurling was uneven. There were six inches between the knurling here and seven over here. And so every time I'd bench press, the weight would feel off center because they didn't measure the knurling. It was crazy. So I had to put electrical tape to show me where the center was. And the chrome was flaking off the ends and I would get splinters from like the chrome paint. It was awful. Horrible, horrible bar. Yeah, you can see right there, that's where, like, the chrome was peeling off. That stuff cuts like a knife. <laughs> so, so word to the wise, like, don't buy cheap barbells. Don't buy barbells from Dick's Sporting Goods or, like, Dunham's because they're these pieces of garbage, probably from China. You know, nothing against China, but they're trying to kill us with barbells. So that's it, you guys. That's the Xmark Voodoo Bar. I hope this review helped. Um, if you have questions, you can ask me in the comments. I do my best to answer all the questions I get. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if you're an entrepreneur or someone who's really into self-development. Like I said, I'm a high-performance coach. I do life coaching and business coaching. And my entire purpose on this planet is to help people make their lives better, whether that's fitness, relationships, finance, entrepreneurship, all of the good, big, ambitious stuff that people like to talk about, we talk about here on this channel. We talk about on my new podcast, the Seeking Clear podcast. You can check all of that out on my channel page. So subscribe, hit my little icon with the name. You can look at my playlists if you want to check it out. I appreciate it. If not, that's cool too. I just hope that you found this review useful. And if you buy the Voodoo Bar, I hope you're as satisfied with it as I am. Overall, I give this thing a nine out of, eh, eight and a half out of ten. The, the rusting is, I feel like they might be able to do a better job with that plating or the coating or whatever it is. But yeah, great bar for value. So anyways, um, I'll put a link in the description for you, show you where I bought it from. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.